two teenagers could very possibly capture a third WPT title tonight. He's also played in a couple WPT specials. One was Poker by the Book, too. He won that event. He also won the Father and Son Tournament, where it came down to he and his son, Joe Seabach, versus Doyle and Todd Brunson. He was very proud of that win. Well, he is a great player. Back to the action here. Scott is folded. Now Jonathan Little with King Six of Hearts making it 70,000. Cloutier out. Come on. And Barry Greenstein now says all in wow. with an ace 10. Six, well, Barry six, just suspects Jonathan's making a position raise here on the button. That's exactly the case. And now if you're sitting there in Jonathan's seat, what do you do here with a king six? Can't imagine you call it. No, nope, you muck it. And Barry Greenstein taking down yet another pot. Since he's been nothing but the short stack ever since he came to this final table. When we started, every player had at least three times as many chips as Barry. The same scenario takes place right now. They've all got him well covered in chips, but don't count this guy out. My goal was to at some time have more than someone else at the table, and that never happened. They went out, but you know, I never had more. Believe me, so he may be on the short one stack, one. but I guarantee you, these guys at that table, they fear Barry Greenstein. I thought Jonathan Little was short. He's done so much work as a philanthropist, and it is rubbing off on other players, so a lot of good coming out of Barry Greenstein. Well, you're right. He gives his tournament winnings to worthwhile charities. And it is rubbing off in the poker community. Around the Barry in the small blind. Now he's on the short stack. Yeah, he's right. up against the monster chip leader, but that doesn't matter to Barry. He raises it anyway, makes it 70,000 to go. To Scott, who has a queen nine of clubs. Just keep those close. Now Scott makes the call. Oh. So as the cards lie, Scott Clements has Barry dominated right now. Queen nine versus nine eight. Here's the flop. It's come seven, six, three. Barry Greenstein has flopped an open end straight draw, and he's going to bet it. They learn nothing from those teenagers. Well, it is the continuation bet with some outs, though. Look at this. With no hand and no draw, Scott Clements calls 90,000, Vince. Perhaps he's trying to set the table to take this pot away from Barry later on. Let's see what happens here. Well, the board pairs sevens. Action's on Barry. He checks the open end straight draw. Oh, and look at this. Scott is going to make a move with nothing. He is betting 110,000 with just queen high. Back to Barry. You see his mind whirring away there. I want one. And he's going all in here, Vince. Oh. He has pulled the trigger for all his chips. Check raise with an open end straight draw. Just doesn't believe Scott. And it's going to work. Very perceptive on Barry's part right there. And I say that because he figures if Scott would have had like two sevens or two sixes on the flop, he would have raised him on the flop. That didn't happen. He also only bet 110,000 into a pot that had over 330,000 in it. Barry thought he might just be making a move to try to take that pot away. So Barry pulled the rug out from under, removed all in, and took it down. Great play by Barry Greenstein. Oh, he is always exciting to watch. Barry Greenstein now taking down another pot. Four players remain at Falls View Casino Resort, and we're coming back with more action in just a few moments. I, I still consider myself just a schmuck from Brampton. Where all these guys are pros every night, I've been driving home and going in the office and catching up on paperwork and then driving here the next morning. So, Dave Cloutier from Brampton, Ontario. This has uh, been quite a surreal experience. Welcome back to the WPT. The North American Poker Championship continues. I'm Vince Van Patten alongside Mike Sexton, where four players remain. The WPT's Kimberly Lansing has been following the tournament all week long. And right now she is standing by with Layla. What's been the biggest surprise for you to see at the final table? Any surprises? I mean, what's not a surprise? I mean, we have Barry Greenstein and Jonathan Little, two WPT title holders, two people who are extremely difficult.